Hi everyone, welcome back to another day in my life. Today is Saturday. I haven't vlogged on a Saturday in months. I think honestly since Vlogmas. I try to not like work and vlog on weekends because I just want to give myself a break, but I just felt like vlogging today. It's currently 9 a.m. I got up early because I wanted to get some errands done. But I'm very excited because we're gonna do brunch today, me and Otto. We were actually invited to this restaurant in DC. It's called Fig and Olive. It's a Mediterranean place. And they invited us to try out their bubbly, it's like their bubbles, brunch and bubbles little thing they're doing. So I wanted to vlog that and bring you guys along. As I talk, I'll show you guys what makeup I'm using because I think it's been a while since I've done a get ready with me. I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury Primer it has SPF 50. It's invisible flawless primer. This really just like evens your tone and makes your skin look so good Also, I'm breaking out. I don't know why Maybe because I don't know I was eating bad or I honestly don't know my skincare habits have not changed Like I've been doing the same skincare. I've been doing I don't know. Maybe it could be hormones So that's kind of annoying. That's why I want to wear makeup today so I'm going to use also the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. This is like a glow enhancer. You can use it as a highlight, but I like to put this under my foundation kind of to uh, make my skin glow a little bit. I feel like my Get Ready With Me makeup routine is kind of the same as the last time. I do have a few new products that I really wanted to show you guys, um, which I will. I'm using the All Hours Foundation by YSL. My shade is in MN9. I think that's the shade but I like this stuff because it has SPF 30 literally all the products I'm using have SPF I'm gonna have a lot of sun protection today so I need to go to Target I'm gonna do all that stuff first I'm just doing my makeup now so that you know when I come back we can just go straight to brunch and I don't have to like spend time getting ready aside from changing into my outfit I don't know if I'm gonna do my hair I might just leave it like this because it's like fifth day hair I wash my hair like one to two times a week now um, and it's made my hair a lot healthier and stronger so it's a little bit oily today I may or may not um, style it we'll just see but yeah I wanted to get my Saturday errands done I need to go get gas I need to um, drop a package off at UPS I need to go make so many returns I have a big Amazon return because I bought so many like bathing suit cover-ups and I bought a lot of bikinis and like kind of last minute panic things so like I panic shop when I go on vacation yeah if I feel like I don't have enough outfits I like will buy them from Amazon because they have like the two-day shipping um, and actually three of the things I got didn't even get here until after I came back so that was pointless those are gonna be returned I don't need them um, and then a couple of the other things I ended up not liking didn't look good didn't fit good so I have a big Amazon return. Concealer, I'm gonna use my NARS, the same concealer I've been using, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Also, I changed the settings on my camera, so it's like, like hard to focus stuff now. I feel like, okay, that's better, I guess. Yeah, I like changed the blurring settings so that um, my background could be blurred a bit better. I don't know if that's messing up, but, um, yeah, so Amazon, Target, and then I think that's it. I'll come back home and then we'll get ready for brunch. And then tonight we don't really have any plans. The brunch, I don't know how long it's gonna last. We're going kind of late. We're going at like 2.30. Um, so we might be there till like 4.30 and then I think we wanna shop around a little bit. The restaurant is in city center in DC. And um, if you're not familiar with the DC area, City center is like where all the shops are, like they have all the like luxury shops, like um, designer places. We'll walk around a little bit, then we'll probably get back home at nighttime. Um, and honestly, I think we're gonna watch the WWE event. I'm a wrestling fan now, Anto got me into it. Like we're trying to plan a trip to go see um, Raw, WWE Raw uh, in Hershey Park. I think they're coming on May 22nd around that time I literally have never been a fan I never liked wrestling because I feel like it's so fake like obviously it's all a show and like the fights are fake and like it's all scripted and I never really liked that but honestly it's so entertaining now the more that I watch it it's like so funny like the storylines are hilarious and I don't know I'm like kind of a fan now and I never thought I would be so tonight is like a big show oh also I set with the Kosas cloud powder and then i'm contouring with the westman altier 
contour stick that again has not changed mm, i have these like red areas on my always here always on my face like right in these areas since i was literally a baby um i need to use a stronger foundation um what is that word called it starts with like r rose rosy blah, blah. i cannot pronounce anything ever i always forget the names of things i literally speak like broken english even though it's my first and only language yeah that's not i should have okay what i should have done is i totally forgot to use this i use this tiger grass color correcting treatment from dr jarts and this helps to correct like coloring like you know redness and it's green so like green cancels out red um yeah that's what it looks like so i usually use this on my red areas down here but i totally forgot i don't think it would be good if i like put it over maybe i can you know what why not let me just put a little bit oh my god these long nails are getting so annoying i got them for vegas and now i'm over them i really don't even like long nails at all i just want it to be like all glamoury for vegas but i think i'm gonna like take them off soon they're gel x so i can like soak them off myself um also my lashes are gone gone oh my god i did not take good care of them because I went to chlorine like I was at the pool and you're not supposed to put your like you're not supposed to get chlorine on your lashes I totally like didn't even think about that so I usually take really really good care of my lashes but this time around I was just so like distracted and I like just wanted to like go swimming and yeah so I think I'm taking a break from lashes uh, for a while too and I'm gonna take a break from like everything like I'm not gonna go get my nails done anymore or pedicure I actually just bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon to like do my own pedicures at home like I did like the got all the foot like sanding things we call that I call it the cheese grater like I got all that stuff to like keep my feet like all smooth and I'm gonna go buy new nail polish and do my own um, pedicures at home and then for nails I think I'm just gonna let them breathe for a while it is summer after all I like to be natural in the summer you know less makeup less lashes and all that stuff of course I'm saying this now but I might change uh, this viewpoint uh, if like events roll around there's something about vlogging on the weekend that like feels so relaxing like I feel like there's less pressure you know I'm not actually like working working like I don't have like as many responsibilities as I do during the week so I kind of like this like I feel like I'm talking so much and I like I don't know feel more at ease but I'll say this past week was really stressful like there's times when I just feel so like worried and stressed over work like you know being a content creator and someone that works for themselves and i'm technically a contractor per se like i am a content creator but like when i work with these brands and like do sponsorships and all that stuff like i technically am a contractor for these brands and sometimes it's just like i don't know it gets really stressful like either having too much work like having too much on my plate or not having enough work on my plate like it's never steady which um, is like kind of the downside of being a content creator it's either I don't know I feel like for me it's either one or the other like I'm way too busy I have too much on my plate I have too many campaigns going on or like I have nothing going on right now um, so I don't know I've just been like stressed the past week and just like questioning and self-doubting and doing all that stuff that we all do so I feel like I just needed to relax and reset and um, just kind of reset my brain most of all. So I feel like more relaxed today. Like this is why I like vlogging. This is why I do it um, is because it's fun. I feel like it's my online diary. Like I need to remind myself why I started this in the first place because it's fun. I like to talk a lot. I like sharing my favorite things with people like I get so excited when I find a product or a clothing article that's just so perfect and like fits so good looks so good works so good whatever the product is and I just love to share it with with people so yeah this week was a little bit I don't know if I would call it a slump or like I get those a lot like at least like once or twice a month I like get into a weird slump that lasts for like two to three days usually like the first slump will come around my time of the month and then other times it's just random but I think like since the weather was so bad and like I was like recovering from like a crazy trip oh I forgot to do bronzer my favorite bronzer by Too Faced it's the Sun Bunny but honestly I'm just so excited today's Saturday like I love low-key chill weekends I love just like the shopping running errands and like going out for like lunch or brunch or dinner 
uh, maybe seeing a movie, hanging out with friends, going over to my friends' houses or people coming over to ours. It's just like those are the type of weekends I like. Of course, I like to have fun. I do like to go out, but not every weekend. So I'm very excited for this very chill weekend we're going to have. I'm going to get some stuff done around the house. I want to organize the kitchen. I bought new kitchen organizers for blush. I'm going to be using my Rare Beauty Cream Blush. This is in Joy Blush. I think these things are like sold out. Her makeup line, Selena Gomez's makeup line, Rare Beauty, is becoming so popular. Like, it's always been popular. Like, I've been a fan of this line for maybe like a couple years, whenever it first came out in Sephora. Um, but I'm seeing it blow up this, this year, like especially. I always put way too much, so we gotta blend, blend, blend. So yeah, I'm excited to show you guys a little weekend in my life. It's been a really long time since I've vlogged a weekend. Oh my god. <laughs> I put way too much. I always do that. These cream blushes from Rare Beauty go a long way. Like you only need a little teeny tiny dot. So that's why I really like them. And then I'm going to just like put a powder blush over that to kind of let that settle in a little bit and tame it a little bit. I'm going to use this Flower Beauty blush. This is in the shade Spiced Petal. This makeup line, I feel like, is really underrated. This is Drew Barrymore's makeup line. People say I look like Drew Barrymore. I really don't see it. It might be the side profile. Like, we both kind of have that elongated, like, long, curved chin. I kind of see it that way, but other than that, I don't think we look alike. But I've heard that so many times from, like, people in real life and also, like, on the internet. I look like I got a sunburn. Okay, let me fix this. I'm going to finish my makeup routine, and then I will... Check in with you guys later. Okay, so I somewhat fixed my face. So I'm finishing up with some mascara and I'm gonna do my lips. And then what I did in between was I just did my eyes, uh, my eye makeup. I use this Dior eyeshadow palette. This is the five color mirror mirror, six, six, five, nine. Sorry, I just said so many things right now, but six, five, nine mirror mirror is the name of the palette. These are all the shades. I absolutely love this palette. This is my everyday palette now. So for mascara, I don't think I ever mentioned this in the vlog, but I've been wanting to for a while now because this is seriously the best mascara I have ever used, I think, in my life, and I'm not exaggerating. I've used so many mascaras in my life. You know what? I think I actually talked about this in my current favorites video, but I didn't apply it, so now I'm going to apply it. So this is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. It is so volumizing the wick is just so big I'm gonna do one eye first and I'll leave the other one so that you can see what it looks like but yeah these are what my lashes look like right now they look so messed up because I have like a few extensions left over but I'm gonna just like put the mascara over so all right we'll do this eye first I'll do one coat and then we'll add probably two more coats after and it's always so weird having extensions left over. I just want to yank them all out, but I don't want to like, I don't want to rip out my, my natural lashes, but oh my God, already so good. I totally forgot to curl my lashes, but it's fine. Like you don't even need to with this stuff. It makes it look so good. All right, just ignore my extensions, but can you see how like much longer and voluminous it looks? Okay, this eye looks a lot better. I don't know what happened with this eye, um, but I just wanted to show you guys how how good it looks. I honestly might put on some fake lashes for brunch, but for now, this will be good. Mm, oh my God. Yeah, look at this left eye. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell happened here. I forgot to use my little um, apricot, 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 oh my God. apricot cream eyeliner. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. I could never be a public speaker. I could also never have a podcast. I've always thought about doing a podcast, but I just like stumble over my words so much. I just can't talk good. So it's very ironic that I talk in my vlogs. Okay, so the eyes are done. And then for lipstick, I want to do my Makeup by Mario and Erin lipstick and for lip liner, it's the same one I always use. It is my Morphe lip liner in, wait, where is it? Oh no, where is it? Oh, here it is, in Sweet Tea. Oh 
Okay, and then for my setting spray, the last step, I'm going to use the Milk Hydro uh, Grip Set and Refresh Spray. <laughs> Oof! That was a lot. Okay, guys, I'm all set for my makeup. I'm going to throw on some hoop earrings. I'll just keep this outfit on. I'm just wearing like a t-shirt and leggings for my errands and then I'll change when I get back. So I just got these sneakers in the mail and I don't know how I feel about them. These are the Adidas Gazelle, but they're the platform version. I know these shoes are so popular now. These were like popular in like the 2000s, but of course everything from the 2000s is coming back in style. I saw Emma Rose. She's a big influencer on Instagram. I saw her post these and it looked really cute on her. So I wanted to pick them up because I really do like this shoe style but I just felt like everyone had them so I didn't want to get something that everyone had but I like the platform version I feel like that's a little bit different so I don't know and I just love platform sneakers I think they're so cute retro but again I don't know how I feel so maybe I'll try them on I would not wear it with this kind of outfit but I don't know they're kind of cute so I changed the outfit to this just like all gray t-shirt and jeans outfit and I wanted to see what the shoes would look like with like a real outfit and I think I like them so I think it is a yes for me okay guys I just got back home from all of my errands and all my returns feels really good to get all that stuff out of my hands get my money back but I did go to Target and I wanted to show you guys my pantry because at Target I just returned something and then I bought like random food stuff I didn't buy anything like fun but I got like bread and milk and stuff but I also got some like healthy snacks because I wanted to have some snacks in the pantry. It's always nice to have. I tried to get snacks on the healthier side. Of course, processed food is not always the healthiest option. But I did want to get like some healthy options. And I wanted to show you guys the pantry. Because I'm very satisfied with how it looks. I kind of just like organized it a little bit. And I am going to reorganize my um, kitchen cabinet. Like where the mugs are. And like the Ziploc bags. I got a couple of things from Amazon. They just got delivered. But I don't think I have time to open them right now. Because we have to head out for brunch. I just need to change really quick. And I'm probably gonna like try to fix my hair and like curl it or something. So um, yeah, when we get back, I'm gonna organize my kitchen, but I just wanted to show you guys the pantry really quick. I literally don't think I've ever shown the pantry before. I did like a whole like pantry organization where I like did all these um, little labeling of these containers. I got these all from Amazon. These are all linked on my storefront under kitchen essentials. Um, but yeah, I did a video like maybe three years ago at my old apartment on how I like organized this part. So that hasn't changed, but um, I did like add some snacks down here that is really messy in the back we're gonna ignore that this is all the pantry safe space we have so I just have to make the best of it but I got these like uh, strawberry fruit strips I just tried one they're so so good and then I got like these individual Chex mixes these little think bars are like my favorite too they're so good they're 150 calories each 10 grams of protein and only five grams of sugar and it's so good it literally tastes like s'mores um, so I like to have these as like a dessert. So after dinner, if I have like a sweet craving, I like to grab one of those. And then I just got some more nuts. Nuts is like kind of our favorite snack at the moment, um, especially like mixed nuts that are lightly salted, multi-grain um, goldfish. Just, I don't know if you have a craving for it. I like the Pirate's Booty because one bag of these is 70 calories. So it's like low cal um, and like really good. I like how they taste. And then I got these because Ida influenced me. She got these at the airport when we were coming home from Vegas. These are chicken and waffle flavored. And I tried one of them. They taste really good, surprisingly. Like, it actually tastes like chicken. It's actually very strange. I don't know how they did it. And they're protein chips. So that was on sale at Target. A lot of these things were on sale. That was on sale. Um, I forgot what else. I think the Think Bars were on sale, too. But, yeah, that's what the little pantry is looking like. I still need to, like, organize stuff back there. These are just, like... I don't know, random things that I use for salads, seaweed. I have some like pantry items like these beans. Oh yeah, I got these the other day. These Baja black beans and then these smoky barbecue beans. Looks really good. I don't know, for a side one day. We have our popcorn back here and then I have these little probiotic snack packs that I got from Sam's Club. They came in like a huge bag of all of these. I have these orange ones. These are mega immune mix and then these ones are just immune booster but they have just you know nuts dried fruit um and stuff like that so these are also really nice and good to eat on the go so i do have a couple more of these organizational containers back here but there's just a lot of stuff um 
Yeah, I can't wait to one day have a pantry that I can walk into. Hopefully, that's the dream. But, you know, one day when I have a bigger pantry, I'll organize it a lot better. But this is what I have going so far. So, yeah, like I said, I will um, organize and show you guys what else I got for kitchen organization. Okay, you guys may or may not care about this. But if you remember, like, a few vlogs ago, I was having some issues with that olive tree. I just didn't like it. Um, I used to have it in the living room, actually, in this corner. Or actually, no, it was in that corner. And then I like put the lamp there and I just didn't know what to do with that olive tree. So then I had put it in the bedroom, like right here by the nightstand. So last night I moved it back out here. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I finally found a place for it. And I did decide what to do about the planter. I'm gonna spray paint it a like kind of beige color, kind of like the painting there. So what do you guys think? Does it look good there? I didn't want to put it there originally because I already have the lamp like standing here and I didn't want that corner to be too cluttered, but I kind of like it. I think it looks good there because I had wanted to add like some sort of greenery to the living room to make it like seem more alive and I don't know, it just looked really empty and boring without a plant. So I moved it there. So happy to have my like plain nightstand back because it was like really crouched in this corner. It looked so bad. So yeah, less clutter in the bedroom and it looks, it looks cute out here. I think. Here's today's brunch outfit. I went simple and just put on this black maxi dress that I got from Princess Polly. And I decided to use my Dyson curler today. I feel like every time I use the Dyson to curl my hair, I look like a someone from the 70s. Like I have the 70s hairstyle, but it's fine. Just gotta zhuzh it a little bit. And then I just got this new little Fendi bag. It's so cute. It's like the nano size. And then I also got these like matching um, sandals. They have like the same logo, super, super cute. I ordered them online and then they just got here like a couple days ago, so I wanted to wear them out. And that's the outfit. We're on the way to brunch. Auntie's driving. Let me focus. Oh, sorry, I'm really hungry. Let me focus, girl. I'm really excited for this place. It's Mediterranean, it's called Fig and Olive. And they invited us down to enjoy their bubbles and brunch is what they're calling it. They're doing it every Saturday until Mother's Day. So if you're in the DC area, wanna to go to a good brunch place, you should go there and I'll show you guys like the food and all that, but I'm excited. It's in city center, which is like a really nice bougie area of DC with all the shopping and stuff. So I'm hungry, but yeah, we're gonna let Anto um, concentrate and we'll be there soon. Jaya for the Sonder, it could it tastes like really good candy. Like it's so delicious. I think it's so good. I think it might be one of the best fruits, low key. Seriously. Yeah, I need to go to I want to go to Costco because there's so much things I want to get that they don't sell anywhere else. Like they don't sell dragon fruit anywhere. Right. But they do sell dragon fruit at the Asian market. Because that's that's them. an you should leave all this in. <laughs> Can you imagine like it's like music, it's like music playing and it cuts to it cuts to me talking about dragon fruit. It's like a bunch of B-rolls, then it cuts to this. Hey like, guys, I, I, I sorry to interrupt the montage, but we were talking about dragon fruit and how great it is. We're running late. Yeah, we're late, of course. But I called them and they said it's fine. They're very happy. I mean, they're very nice about it. <laughs> they're very they're happy. They're very happy we're late. Wow, DC is beautiful today. We've been coming here so often lately, it's crazy. I know. Like, I think the past two months we've been here like 12 times. I know, but I like it. It's nice to explore. I feel like every time we come here, I see something new that I haven't seen before. Whenever my stomach hurts, I get a oofy. <laughs> We're in city center. This is city center? Yes. Hold up, Steph. You're drip today, cuz. Oh, oh, yeah, we gotta show the You got the Fendi sandals. Oh, Toes are swinging yeah. everywhere. My dogs are swinging. What so is the spot? Yep. Fig and olive. Okay, true. Let's go in there, madame. Oh, yeah. We just sat down. This place is super cute. Literally sitting by my favorite things. There's live music. Do you like the place? Look at that, they have live music. Listen, as soon as I walked in, I got was a guitar. So already, already they're gonna get a high school. All right. What you say? It's zucchini. <laughs> zucchini and goat cheese black bread. Oh yeah, let's get that. Trying to decide what we want to get for the appetizer. There's a lot, bro. Is this focused? Do I what? Don't you love zucchini? I do. You don't want the dip? Yeah, the dip. Okay, we'll ask her what's, what's like tastes better. 
we have started our mimosa service. This is the first course, right? The mimosas. Yeah, this is the mimosa so we got three different options. We got strawberry, we got what is this one? Peach? That's orange. Peach. 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 As you see here, there's Seb got peach. I went with strawberries. We're gonna do um, a little. Yeah, next up we're gonna add our garnishes. So let me add my strawberry in there. Yes, ma'am. Hold up, they gave us the whole, wait. You didn't tell me about, they gave us the whole bottle? We're gonna switch share that bottle. I'm gonna walk out of here speaking a different language. Taste that real quick for the vlog. I feel like I have to mix it a little bit. Like the juice come on the bottom. Mine is like, oh, there we go. mine is nicely mixed. You guys see the, like look at this bro. I wanna just drop the orange. This is honestly the most like fancy uh, mimosa I've ever had. I know. Thank you. How's it with the peach? We actually didn't try. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're like recording this. <laughs> Uh oh. I need to pace myself, but we'll taste test the peach peach mimosa. Ooh. Is it I good? Like, I like the peach. This is a really like juice. Like if you look at it, it's kind of more like a puree. It's like puree. Also, these are so cute. I thought they were gonna give us like the huge jugs. This is, I'm telling you, this is the fanciest mimosa I've had. I know. And, like it comes with like little garnishes. I like, I like the like setup platter. It's very like, flat. It's not overwhelming. Strawberry mimosa. Strawberries and sad roll. Yeah. Real yeah. Look, bro. <laughs> you think I'm choking? I got real strawberries. <laughs> Strawberry is very subtle, like it doesn't like. It's not sugary because it's, it's, it's a puree. It's not sugary. I feel like this is healthier than juices. I like it. I thought it was gonna taste like a fruit punch, like, like, yeah. a, like a strawberry juice. Right. But it's so subtle. No, it's good. It's perfect. Like, yeah. You, know, you, want, you want champagne to taste. Thank you. Thank you. So that is a zucchini goat cheese flatbread, and then these are the Mediterranean dips. You guys, this food is so good. The flatbread, this is so good. Mm -hmm. By the way, these are the appetizers. These are not even our entrees. Our entrees are still coming. You got an appetizer so far, like this right here. 10 out of 10. Low key. Low key. 10 out of 10. No, it is 10 out of 10. I don't like giving out 10, but that might be the best flatbread I've had. No, this is 11 out of 10. It's so good. With the little flatbreads. We have our entrees. So I got a chicken Caesar sandwich with Parmesan fries. Anto, what did you get? I got uh, baked eggs. Mediterranean eggs, right? Mediterranean baked eggs. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, it looks so good. Can't even talk I'm so much. Yeah, you're going in right now. So I'm not gonna good. lie, those those French fries looking kinda crispy over there. Yeah. That sandwich looks so good. I need a score out of ten. Eight. We just wrapped up our brunch. How do you feel? I feel full. I feel like so I'm in good. I low key feel like I'm in heaven right now with like this view. I wanna, like I wanna I want to lay in that fountain. You see those water fountains? Duh. I want to lay right there. Those fountains right now like are it's, going. It's really hot today. I literally want to run through them. It's so hot. All right, what's next? Photo shoot? Yeah, we're going to do the photo shoot, then we're going to go home because I need a nap. That was like, I have a food coma right now, but it was so good. Facts. Did you enjoy it? It was amazing. I liked it. I liked it. Crescendi Yoda. <laughs> Steph wants to buy some flowers. How many are you picking? I know. I haven't seen like a flower shop that's like a truck. It's a Lily's flower truck here in DC. This is fire. This is a fire. It's a fire Jeep. Steph is still picking this out. That's that. I like the purple ones. Dang, I like the colors you got going on. Is it? Is this your dog? Um, no, it's the owner's dog. She's actually oh, okay. getting lunch right now. Oh, but so yeah, this is Lily actually. That's who the truck is named after. Oh wow, so this is Lily right here. Shout out to Lily. This whole business is named after her. Hey Lily. Can we pet? Are we allowed to pet? Yeah. Oh, okay. She's super friendly. You can pet her. True. It's good, Lily. Hey. Lily's trying to eat my lunch. Aww. I'm your customer today. Shout out to Lily, bro. This is her business. All right, show them your, uh, first of all, first of all, shout out to Lily, bro. Oh, Goodbye, Lily. Lily. Yo, that's a fire. Do you like set. it? Nah, I just wanted it to be colorful. I just want to say I had a great time. This is so much fun. We went to brunch. We got flowers. There's a protest down the street. Typical day in D.C. So you better not get those toes soggy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi, guys.
guys, we're back home from our day in DC. It was really fun, but we're so happy to be home. We love spending Saturday nights at home, especially like when we're out all day. I got some Amazon packages today that I really wanted to unbox and show you guys. I got a lot of kitchen organizational things and I also got a couple of home decor things. So the main kind of organization pieces I got were these organization boxes for like, I don't know what you call these, but they're like the Ziploc bags, like the foil, the saran wrap, like all those different things. So I got two of them, one for um, the like wraps, like saran wrap, um, parchment paper, and foil. And they also come with the labels foil plastic wax and then yeah you just put them in here and you can easily like cut them um, so I thought it'd be a nice way to organize it because currently they're just all in here completely unorganized so I thought it'd be a nice way to organize that and then the other thing I got that's similar to that is one for storage bags so yeah again it comes with the labels oh and it's like slide off so We'll put the gallon bags here and then you can put like three, three different sizes in there. So that's the first couple things I got. So I think I mentioned earlier in the vlog that I don't want to get my lashes done anymore. I'm currently wearing strip lashes. I saw, oh, what's her name again on Instagram? Her name is Pia, it's Pia Shaw on Instagram. And she posted this link for these mink, faux mink lashes. And they just look so pretty. They're so wispy. Wow, I really like the style of these. And these were $10 for, I don't even know how many, 14 pairs. There's 14 pairs and it was $10. So I wanted to stock up on my lashes since I will probably not be getting them done anymore. And then I also got this vase. Oh my God, it's kind of small, but it's super cute. This will be good for like the coffee table or like a small little area. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Maybe I'll put the flowers that I got from DC today, or maybe not, because I feel like I need to put them in a longer one. But yeah, I thought it was a cute little vase. I ordered another storage shelf so I can organize my coffee mugs a little bit better. It's getting really crowded in there, so I already have a couple of these in the cabinet, and I just wanted to get one more to like make the organization a little bit better. Oh yeah, and then I got these candle glass holders, and it just looks super cute, so I feel like it'd be so cute with the um, with the vase, right? So, okay, that's all I got. So I need to, um, first of all, put these flowers. I need to put the flowers in some water. And then I'm gonna finish organizing my cabinet. parchment paper I will make sure to get some that actually fit but I have the foil here the plastic here and then yeah I will get parchment paper that fits there but it's really nice you can just like cut off the saran wrap or plastic whenever you use it and yeah it's so nice Zip wash so bag. I like how and then look at this the foil plastic Wow, that I know yeah. what to pull out. Yeah, isn't that nice? Hey guys, I'm getting ready for bed. I just wanted to hop on to end the vlog because I'm getting ready to do my skincare and I'm gonna hop in bed, go to sleep. It's about like midnight now, it's kind of late, but we just like watch sports all night tonight and just chilled out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a kind of a long one and a chatty one. So I hope you enjoyed it regardless and I'm calling it a night. I will see you guys in my next vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.